Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Google authorship on a WordPress website. Now I'm going to show you two methods. The first method is not going to involve a plugin. Uh, I believe the less plugins that you have running the better. Now the second method will involve a plugin but odds are you probably already use this plugin already. Okay, so what we have here is a test website I've just created and the domain is welshy.siterubix.com and all websites should have an about us page and a contact us page. Now the reason for that is Google recommends and I believe they actually may penalize you if you don't have these pages. So what I've done is I've created an about us page and I've just pasted in some content off the home page in here. Now what I have to do first is go and edit this page. So I'm going to click edit page and somewhere on the about us page I have to have a link pointing to my Google Plus account. So what I'm going to do is enter in my name and I need to go and get my Google Plus URL. So I'm in the other tab I'm going to jump over to Google Plus and I'm going to click on my profile. And then I'm going to copy from the end of the numbers the whole URL there. And now I'm going to come back to my page. And I'm going to highlight my name. And then click on the insert link. And I'm going to press Control V and paste in my Google Plus URL. But I'm going to add some additional details to the end of the URL. And that is a question mark, R-E-L, and then the equal sign. And then we're going to put author. Now I will add the text below the video someplace and we're going to click open link in new window or tab and click add link. We're going to update the page. Now our next step is we have to make sure that we have a custom menu. Now what I'm talking about here is let me just go open up the website. Now right now this is the default menu that comes with the theme. Now I want to have a custom menu. Now to set up a custom menu we go to appearance and then menu. Now if your theme doesn't support a custom menu it's going to tell you on here and if that's the case then go ahead and use the plugin method later on in this video. We are going to call this header for header menu and we're going to click create menu. We're going to come and select view all pages and we're going to select them all and we're going to click add to menu. So now this is going to be our custom menu and if we wanted the about us page there we could do that. And let me just hit save menu so you can see what's going on. Now we have to select the menu to use for the, the theme and we're going to select the header menu and click save. Now let me just refresh the home page. And as you can see now the about us page is here because we are now using the custom menu. Now obviously I don't want it there. So what we have to do now is up here we have screen options. Now if we pull this drop down menu down, you'll see we have a, by default this is unchecked. Make sure link relationship is checked. And then you can close screen options. Now if we pull down the drop down menu on the about us, we'll have a link relationship field. And we simply enter in author and save menu. And now basically our website is ready and all we have to do is finalize it by heading over to Google Plus and linking the two sites together. So coming over to Google Plus, we have to edit our profile. So coming to our, our profile, we're going to click on edit profile. And we are going to scroll down until we find the part where it says contributor to. And we're going to click on it so that we can add an additional link. I'm going to click add custom link. I'm going to call this Welshy and it was and the URL was welshy.siterubix.com and we are going to click save. So what we're doing now is we've told Google Plus that we contribute to this website and on the website we've set it up. We've set it up so that no matter what page or post you're on, we're going to be seeing the menu and then this menu button basically tells Google, look, if you want to know who the author is, you can find out their details on this page. And then on this page, we have a link going to our Google Plus account. 
So I'm just going to click done editing here. I'm not sure if that makes a difference. And what we're going to do is make sure that this works. Now I use a bookmarkler and then when I click on here, it will load up the rich snippet testing tool. And as you can see, my author image appears here. That means it's working. So let's see, I went to the home page. The home page works too. And that is how we do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do this via a plugin and it's very simple and straightforward. So let's pretend you didn't do the about us page option. So let me just delete this and hit update. And what we're going to do is head over to plugins and you want to install a plugin called all-in-one SEO pack and we're going to click activate and we're going to go to the settings page for the all-in-one SEO and we have to come down and the first thing we have to do is enable it obviously you'd go over the settings and edit whatever you wish and then further down here we have Google Plus profile site-wide default now here we need to enter in our Google Plus uh, profile URL but this time we don't add the additional question mark URL equals author we can just enter it in like that scroll down and update options so now when I go and test the website now it's not going to work on the home page and I'll explain why because there is no link to the admin or the author of the website now if I go to like the sample page you'll see that the metadata, we have a link to the admin page. So if I check the rich snippet testing tool, it will work. But if I'm on the home page and I test it, it's not going to work. So that is the only drawback. Now the easy way to get around this is to just add a link to your Google Plus profile in the footer and you should be fine. If you run into any problems or need help, just let me know. And again, whenever you do this, make sure you test it on the Rich Snippet Testing Tool because otherwise you could be waiting a week or so to see if your authorship has worked only to find out that, you know, you've missed a step and it's not even showing up in the Rich Snippet Testing Tool.